Stegosaurus. A genus of Stegosaurian dinosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Jurassic period, around 155 to 150 million years ago. It was around 8 to 9 meters long and is known for its distinctive plates on its back and spikes on its tail. Carnotaurus, a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, around 72 to 69 meters long. It was around 8 to 9 meters long and weighed around 1 to 2 metric tons. It had a unique set of horns above its eyes. Acrocanthosaurus, a large theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 110 to 105 million years ago, it had a row of tall spines on its back, which gave it its name, high-spined lizard. Stegosaurus. A genus of Stegosaurian dinosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Jurassic period, around 155 to 150 million years ago. It was around 8 to 9 meters long and is known for its distinctive plates on its back and spikes on its tail. Tyrannosaurus rex, a genus of large theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. It was around 12 to 13 meters long and is known for its massive head, powerful jaws, and sharp teeth. It was one of the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the mass extinction event.
Velociraptor. A genus of small theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Mongolia during the late Cretaceous period, around 75 to 71 million years ago. It was around 2 meters long and is known for its distinctive sickle-shaped claw on its foot, which was likely used for hunting. Parasaurolophus, a genus of hadrosaurid dinosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Cretaceous period, around 76 to 73 million years ago. It was around 10 meters long and weighed around 2.5 to 3.5 metric tons. It is known for having a distinctive crest on its head. Camarasaurus, a genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived in western North America during the late Jurassic period, around 155 to 145 million years ago. It was around 18 to 23 meters long and weighed around 15 to 20 metric tons. <laughs> 